there, welcome to a new video. I was planning on doing a Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial, like a farm tutorial, but I decided not to just because next episode is Sketch Survival episode 10 for next video, I mean, which is coming out on Tuesday, which I'm super excited for. Anyways, so I was thinking that instead of doing that, I wanted to put out a tutorial on how to download a texture pack or world or like an add-on for Minecraft Windows 10 edition, like the computer version of Minecraft Bedrock edition. Um, just because I am thinking about putting on a world download for next episode of Sketch Survival. That's the only reason why I'm doing this, by the way. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me go get the direction things ready, like open up the websites and stuff like that so I can show you what we're gonna be doing okay so as you can see here we're on mcpedl.com that's like minecraft pocket editions download page that's where all the maps and stuff that are for bedrock edition are normally or like where people would download things I'm not actually where mine is it's just gonna be in the link um, for sketch survival episode 10 it's just going to be in the description of that but for most mods and maps and stuff like that it would be on this website or if you just want to look at different things like texture packs skin servers maps mods and stuff there is an installation guide i'm not sure what that's for this is also an installation guide it's a really basic tutorial too like it's really easy to do this thing so basically what you're going to want to do is choose your like what you want to download once you found what you want to download this is like a dinosaur thing this is like the credit credits go to this person for doing that but oh it's pretty new too came out today <laughs> it came out today as i'm recording this but basically so there is you can just download it from pressing this one for this one it will automatically make the download but instead i'm going to go to mediafire so this is what mine will be like you don't want to click any of these ad things that say start now watch live watch now watch live any of these things around you want to stick to this down the blue download button right here and then you're going to press that i'm not sure if you can see but down here it has the Signorian add-on for Minecraft. It's a MC add-on, Minecraft add-on. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you do. And then you double click that and then it will open up in Minecraft. So if I open up Minecraft now, you can say it's little things are gonna pop up up here. So little things pop up and yeah, if we, it instantly does that. So let me go to my downloads so you can see what I have that it has been imported. So if we click save and quit. So this is the world that we are just in. Um, achievements cannot be earned in this world, blah, 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 all these weird stats. But we want to go down if we are doing this on a resource pack or behavior pack, which is the same thing as add-on. We would see the new add-on that has been added. I didn't have this before it's also a resource pack i think if you turn on the behavior pack it will automatically apply the resource pack oh it didn't so you're gonna have to apply both like that you can also click require players to accept resource packs when joining if you do play on multiplayer you're gonna need to do that just because that's how um like if you play on multiplayer the other people can see your add-on like what they have so you would have to require players to accept resource packs to join and if you do have a world that has and if you do have a world that you downloaded to for the pack then you can um it will automatically be imported in. but it's basically the same thing you just double click it and then it will appear as one of your worlds why do i have oh why are my particles showing up? Did I turn off one of my... I don't normally have particles, it's very odd. I might have messed up one of my resource packs or something. I hope I didn't, but 
yeah thank you guys for watching this video that's basically double click it and i just want to show you guys that when you do go to the media fire you don't do not you do not press any of those green buttons you press the blue one that says download and then the size of the file you don't need to sign up or sign in or anything like that if it does take you to a different website than Mediafire. I, I don't know how to do it from there because there are many other different websites that people might use for their like downloads and where do they put the link. But most of them are like Mediafire just because it's easier to put download there. And yeah, that's basically it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more of me, go follow my Instagram at my bills 2008 or follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash xy208. Thank you guys for watching. There was skipped frames detected 26% over the last two minutes, which is not always good. But thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.